Hello, I'm Dr. Clint Sexton with Naperville Integrated Wellness, and I'm a functional medicine doctor. Today, I want to talk about root causes. So in functional medicine, we're looking for the, the underlying issues. Again, the main point here, the main term being the causes that are leading to poor health or illness. Now, many times we don't realize that we are the, the, the source or the cause of the health issues that we're dealing with. And this goes into two major categories I like to look at. One is, is the little choices, decisions we're making each day about our lifestyle. And the other is more of our mindset of how we are viewing the health problem we have or the way we view ourselves or our environment. So first, let's just look at some of the, the, the little choices that we, that we make each day. So this would come under the category of the foods that we're eating or how much water we're drinking, or are we really making the effort and taking the steps to make sure we get the rest and sleep that our bodies need to recover? Uh, do we get physical activity and, and move our bodies and get exercise? Uh, sometimes we, we don't really factor in or really consider how important these, these pieces are, particularly when you start adding these things up. Many times we're looking to make a, a big change because we want to create a big change in our health or turn things around, and, that, and that's fine. But we also have to consider all, all these little littler choices, such as, you know, I hear this all the time where um, I eat a food, but, you know, it doesn't bother me all the time. It just, you know, but I, I suspect it's a problem for me. But, you know, so I didn't quit eating it. I just eat it less often. Okay, so with something like that, it's like you probably just shouldn't, shouldn't eat that food, okay? Or if we're talking about uh, our water intake, you know, most people think, well, yeah, maybe I could drink some more water. I should drink more water, but I don't. Well, why, why don't we do that? Okay, go ahead and, and make the choice to start drinking, drinking a little bit more water. Our physical activity. We're really good at talking ourselves out of this one. We don't have the time. We're tired. We're, we've got you know, too much going on, etc. But it doesn't change the fact that our bodies do well with some movement and with some physical activity. And we could just go on and on. The whole point is that if we take our own inventory and look at, well, what am I doing with my food? And what am I doing with my water intake? And what am I doing with my sleep? And what am I doing with my exercise? And what am I doing with my, my stress management? Um, all of these factors play a role. All of these are fundamental causes and or root causes that if they're not addressed, can contribute to health problems. So it's we don't want to dismiss these things and just look for something big or something major that we need to, to change. It's getting these pieces in and then implementing them over a period of time. Because also you have to you have to give the body some time. You can't say, well, you know, I went to the gym for a couple of weeks and I you know I tried a, a, a seven day juicing fast or detox or whatever. The point is it's change, making these changes, making these lifestyle changes over a period of time. So the body has a chance to respond because all of these things interrelate, okay? So basically everything matters. And so we can't say, well, that doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter. I'll focus on, on this. It, it matters, okay? So that's one part. Now the other side of this, in terms of how we can not be um, a good friend to ourselves would be how, how we view uh, our health or how we view our life. And this is just, this is just looking at mindset then. And because this is very important because if, if we think about what we're thinking about every day, that's going to influence our health and our lives. And many times we think, well, you know, maybe, maybe my thoughts don't really matter. It only matters what I do. Well, I, I, can't, I can't say whether that, that's true or not. But if we're, if we're thinking thoughts, if we're, you know, just, we think about our illness and we think about how bad it is and we think about um, how long it's been, we think about how hard it's going to you know, get on this road to recovery and we, we think about, oh, I don't know if anyone's you know, going to be able to help me with this or if I'm going to be able to do what it takes. Do you see how we're creating this really negative pile okay, of thoughts and we just go through these again and again and we're reliving these day after day. So you know, how we're looking at it is really important, you know, and looking at our mindset of, you know, we're going to make some changes and, and seeing ourselves in a better state and seeing our, our future as being better than it, than the state we're in today. And, you know, maybe you haven't been able to get on the right track and maybe you don't know what to do and, that, and that's okay. Or maybe you haven't found a doctor that can help you. And again, that's okay. As long as you, you keep looking, you keep trying, you keep working. We don't want to give up and, and back ourselves up into this corner and just tell ourselves this, this really terrible story about what's gone on with our health and, and all the things we've tried and all the things that haven't worked is just negative and negative and negative. Your, your body's going to respond to that too, but not in a good way, okay? We, we, can't, we can't get so negative that we 
end up being in a positive in a positive place. It doesn't work that way. Okay, there's no there's no bottom to the, this hole of going down. We need to come up and out of it. So two major things, and they actually work together, is our mindset of how we're looking at the choices we're making, but then also looking at the choices that we're making every day. And so this is how all of us are playing a critical role in just you know what our health is like and what our life is like and the experiences we're what we're experiencing based on these factors because these things they they do they do matter these things add up and the result the sum of this is our life experiences and one of those would be our, our state of health so hopefully you found this interesting i just i just saying this because maybe this will give you a little a little shift in viewpoint um it's really easy to get really focused on if i knew just just what food it was what you know or what nutrient i needed or you know and sometimes those are pieces to it but there's a lot of other pieces that you can start start working on yourself that can make really dramatic changes okay in your health so hope you found this helpful uh thank you